you have this woman who is maybe trying to make ends meet, you know, get a couple extra dollars. She has an OnlyFans account. And somehow, some way, her coworkers find out about it. And they start watching it in the workplace. You know, start teasing her about it. And then start to sexually harass her about it. Uh, assuming that she went to management, they, management, fired her because her OnlyFans account was her choice. And she was being a distraction towards everyone else in the workplace. This is one of those situations where if you're going to have this type of content out there in public, you want to keep it as limited as possible to where it doesn't affect any other outside business you have going on. Because pay attention to OnlyFans. Most people will look at it and say, hey, this is what it is. This is the stereotype with it. If you have an OnlyFans account, you're essentially someone who uses their body for a profit. And people will hear that and turn a blind eye. And there are some people who will get overly sensitive about it and be gross towards it and claim you're nothing but a senseless hoe. I feel as though this woman who was a mechanic, working on cars, whatever you want to call it, who's trying to better herself. But with most people, with most of us, we try to make ends meet in other facets, rent, essentials water bills all of that so if you're going out and having any way of trying to make ends meet that's up to you but for you ladies out there you're running that risk of people looking at you as if you're nothing but a body that they won't value you as anything except a body that they could laugh at poke fun at or masturbate to and I'm sure she probably posted it on social media and maybe someone that she knows saw it and they showed it to a friend who knows a friend that actually works in the same place as her. And that person, that co-worker started showing everyone else. And yeah, they started sexually harassing her. And that's not okay either. And fuck those individuals that did that. But it's a woman's responsibility to know that when she does this, like when she starts this OnlyFans account, she's going to have people who praise her and there are going to be people who demean her and harass her for it. And I'm not saying women shouldn't do this. Do whatever you want. It's your body. It's your choice. I'm saying be aware that everyone's not going to have a good reaction towards it. Everyone's going to have a difference of opinion. You may think it's all good. All good. Your friends may think it's all good, but then there's going to be that outside crowd that will just call you a hoe and demean you as a woman because you're making money basically showing your body. Any woman out there with an OnlyFans account and you've been demeaned and it's getting to you a little bit, watch this. Knowing that I have the ability to make money off of my big pepperoni nipples, why the fuck would I continue? to settle for making minimum wage when I have the ability to make literally 1,500% more by being moderately funny and showing my nipples to people on the internet. Oh God, my self-respect. What about my dignity? What about my children? First of all, you're implying that I want to give birth simply because I have the ability to do so. Second of all, my self-respect is fine. Crazy how my self-respect went up whenever I became my own boss and started making more than a living wage for myself. That mechanic is probably going to have her name out there all over social media for the next however some weeks. She better milk this and get a lot of people to subscribe to her OnlyFans because she got fired and she's going to need a lot of more than just extra money. This will be her way to get that extra money. But anyways, like the video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.